Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Adam for FXD79.com, back with another After Effects tutorial. Haven't done one of these or really a video editing tutorial in a while, but I did want to make one since I know that all of you guys, or at least most of you, are uh, here for video editing stuff, and I haven't done a whole lot of that lately, so just wanted to get a little bit back into it. So what we're going to be doing today is a very highly requested effect, and that is how to make your... Uh, video clip look more professional and look like it does in the movies. You might always be going to the movies and you uh, see kind of the film quality and you're like, oh, how does it get like that? How is it so high quality? You know. And the truth is, they do have um, hi higher quality cameras than any of us have, but they also use a lot of tricks to make it look um, very different and have that distinct film look that you always get. So today we're going to be looking at just a small little clip here. I'll drag this into its own composition. Um, it's a small video that I just recorded with a little camcorder, but um, <clears throat> it's just basically some footage of my backyard, so just for testing purposes, we can uh, try and make this look like it would in a cinema. So, go ahead and change the resolution to 1280 by 720 and just stretch that video out since it's clearly not HD, but we'll put it there anyways. Alright, so let's go around here, and I don't know what that glitching effect is, but apparently it doesn't actually render out. Oh, it's just extreme shaking, isn't it? <laughs> oh well. Okay, so what we can do, first of all, is just change the contrast um, and the levels on this clip. So what we're going to do is search levels, and we can drag levels onto our clip. Now what we're going to do is increase the intensity of the whites and crunch the intensity of the blacks. Um, so we'll go ahead and drag this this way, and that'll crunch the uh, blacks, and then pull up the whites. So we can just kind of get this to like a more cinematic feel, like somewhere around, oh, I don't know, right there. Alright, so that's more, a little bit more cinematic than that. Looks a little bit more professional. Clearly this isn't an HD camera, so it won't always show up the way that you would imagine it. But uh, if you have a, a decent camera, then it'll look a lot better than this. Mine actually broke, and I haven't purchased a new one. So, yeah, uh, we can also do some uh, some just color correction. You can get a lot of these from the effect. Oops, I just like that effect color correction tab. So this is all on there. As you can see, curves is on there. So we'll just you can also do auto color, auto contrast. So that'll make it what it thinks it should be. It's not always spot on though with its uh, guessing, but it can usually fix it up. So uh, what we can go and do here is just go to brightness and contrast. We can change the brightness up just a little bit, change the contrast. So that that changes the, um, it kind of like levels, but it's just uh, straight up brightness and contrast. So you can kind of play with that a little bit. Um, there are a lot of other things that you'll probably want to do with it, um, including color correction. You can just go to color balance and you can play around with these say it's supposed to be like blue or something it's raining it's supposed to be blue you can turn on shadow blue just give it a little bit of a blue tint and of course for each scene in uh, a movie or a short film you're going to need to uh, change the look of it so let's just change it to blue in this scene now we've got a little bit more of a blue feel and you you always want to make sure that you're color correcting uh, according to what's going on in your movie um, if it's a dark feel and you're going to do like a bluish kind of low, uh, very low uh, contrast or very high contrast, sorry, clip um, to give it kind of that eerie feel or whatever. If it's supposed to be, you know, happy and bright, happy and bright, it's supposed to be like, you know, a little bit red or something, you know, just some of those red highlights. So if we're going to turn that on, it kind of gives it more of that like happy feel, I guess you could say, instead of being like darkened down. So. Uh, by doing that, we can go ahead and just color correct it ourselves. There are awesome some other uh, presets out there that allow us to get the straight up uh, legitimate cinema or cinematic feel, and we can get those by going to the link that is in the description. These are called Grant Swanson presets. So there are uh, five of them right here. We have Armory, Bleach Bypass, Blue Crush, Classic Cinema, and Middle East. So there's all just different things, and I will show you how to install them. All you need to do is go to your C drive and then go to either program files or pro if you have program files times 86 then you're going to go that if you
you don't, just go to Program Files, go to Adobe, After Effects CS4 or whatever you have, CS5 if you have it, um, go to Support Files, and then go to Presets. And then what you're going to do is just copy all these FFX files right in here. And usually what we'll do is create a new folder called, uh, I don't know, Cinema. And we'll drag all of these into there just so they're a little bit more organized. As you can see, there are a bunch of pre-installed ones, so we're just adding those to our libraries. And then we should be able to get a hold of them by right-clicking Effects and Presets and clicking uh, refresh list and it will go through and reinitialize all the plugins and presets and everything so that we have those updated in our library um, so let's see what was it called even so let's try armory <laughs> that's not how you spell it there we go so cinema armory so let's go ahead and get rid of all these effects that are on here just so we can get straight up what it was and what it is now so we'll delete that 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 and that drag armory onto it and you get kind of a preset feel for it so that'd be something that you're looking at you know well armory I guess you could say but basically it adds all these um all these things to the all these effects and color corrections but it's done it in a way that you don't have to mess with it too much unless you want to make some custom uh, changes to your own own uh, clip so let's go ahead and undo that and try out some of the other ones this is classic cinema so there we go, we've got kind of the look that we were going for earlier and as you can see they've color corrected kind of like a bluish but you can change the saturation here and that'll change uh, the, what color it is, it gets kind of out of control at that point um, so yeah um, but that kind of uh, colorizes it to what we had earlier, it's still not there Wait. alright so it has kind of that bluish tint to it so that'd be more of like a dark scene and it, it doesn't work too well right here but it's all depending on what you're going for um, Middle East, let's try that out drag that on, we can get rid of the other ones actually Middle East, so that gives you kind of like a grayish look if you were in a desert or something like that these are really really awesome presets and they can definitely help you with your project um, if you're looking to make something that's above the home video kind of thing, let's try the last two, Bleach Bypass. Actually, get rid of those, and then Bleach Bypass. Alright, so we've got all that, that just straight up black and white, so those can be used for kind of, um, Sometimes they, they're used in horror movies, but sometimes they're just used as like a, you know, you've probably seen black and white in a movie before, but it gives it that kind of feel, you know. Um, so this can be used for specific scenes which want to kind of give it that kind of feel. Let's do the last one. Blue Crush. There we go. Now, that could that's kind of a intense... Uh, preset, but if you're doing a movie that's say you know focusing on water or something or it's underwater, then that could definitely be a good thing to use. Um, you can also, if you are interested in doing day to night conversions, you can check out my tutorial on that. It's on my channel, uh, in which I show you how to convert your clips from day to night so that you don't have to go around stumbling in the darkness and getting horrible, horrible footage. Uh, to you can just uh, shoot in the daytime and then use color correction to actually uh, make it look like it was at night. So color correction can be used for a lot of things in filmmaking. It's definitely one of the most important things, um, along with the music, to make the uh, general feel of the movie. So uh, if you're interested in doing this in Sony Vegas, make sure you check out the tour on that. I'm putting it up right after this one. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you later.